Well, hello again, and welcome to the second episode of Southern Relics Testing Tuesdays. Um, what we have here is we're still testing the Nocta, Mac Nocta Macro Amphibio, and uh, I've actually been out uh, metal detecting with it earlier today, and uh, I, I was actually at a park. You'll see that video come up in a week or two. Um, starting to learn the machine a little bit, starting to play with the advanced settings a little bit. The uh, the four tone, the four tone is really awesome. You'll see that later on. What we want to do today in the uh, testing video is I want to show y'all, we had some questions when we made the first episode. I had some questions of uh, somebody said, put a nail down there with the quarter, put a nail down there with the, with the nickel. And so we're gonna try that this afternoon. We're gonna see what we can figure out what this machine, how it, how it reads. So that way you see if it masks the signal of the coin. So we're gonna test that today as well as uh, someone is asking about the frequencies, uh, metal detectors and why they have the frequencies they do. From what I understand of it, from little knowledge that I have of it, the higher the frequency that you have of a metal detector, the better chance it can pick up those the smaller bits of the non-ferrous targets, such as gold. There's certain machines that's made just for gold prospecting, and it's a really high frequency. Uh, sometimes you can find those machines are around 50, they're around 50 kilohertz. When you want to just do some coin shooting, low frequencies help with that. So uh, this machine, Nocta Micro Amphibio, it has three different frequency settings. It has five kilohertz, it has 19 kilohertz, and it has 20 kilohertz. Those are the three frequencies that one can set this detector up and metal detect. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test some of these, some of these uh, screws and nails, bent nail, things like that with the coins, without the coins, let y'all hear them. And also some little junk jewelry, some just play jewelry that my kids have. We're going to do some testing, try to mask some signals with the coins and see what they ring up. Seventy nine, eighty one, eighty four. let's do it this way. Now we're understanding that a nickel rings up about 30 or 31. And with the nail next to it, look what it's doing. So my question to you is, if you had this machine, would you dig that target? I would, because it's in the it's in those twenties. I mean, you you got to dig stuff like that because especially when you hear that jumpy up and down, you got to dig them. All right, here we have a penny and a bent nail. I would most definitely dig that target. All right, here we have a dime and a, I found this nail the other day and y'all seen it in the, la the video from the 102 year old property where Chris found the Indian head penny. Now that is a square nail. Let's see what it sounds like. All right, let's see what the dime sounds like again. Solid 78, 79. Now let's test it. Well, it depends on which way you hit it when you're gridding off and searching. So Y'all notice that second time, it just sounded like iron. It just sounded like a, and it rang off at four. I mean, to me, that's just iron. But there's a penny, under, or there's a dime right underneath it. If you hit it right on, man, it goes from 31, 41, 51. I would definitely, I would definitely dig it if I got a signal like that. And lastly, we have a quarter and a sheetrock screw. Most definitely, I would dig that. And let's do the quarter and that bent nail. Yep, I would dig it. Our little junk jewelry. You hear the mid tone, you hear the high tone. All right, one of the last tests we're gonna do for this video, someone said, hey Steven, put a quarter, a nickel, and a penny together and see what it sounds like and see what it rings up. Yep, 69, 70, 71, 72. You're gonna dig that, I would. One more thing we're gonna do before we finish this test in this video today. 
Um, I actually went out to a certain property and uh, it was an old plant. There was a section there that where employees could park and basically walk in the front door. There's a big grass squared off lot right there, grassy. There's a flagpole in the middle, has concrete and things going out to the flagpole and then of course concrete sidewalk. I went out there and I want to show you the uh, what I found. Honestly, I believe it was just when they when they actually done all the grading and everything years and years ago. I, I believe it was just uh, they, they they brought everything in just fill dirt, and there's really no. I honestly I found no coins, but I want to show y'all the trash that I found. I want to show you what it was pit pull, picking up on the machine, and so that way you get a better idea of the trash and what it sounds like, what it reads up at the VDI and that way you get a better idea of how you want to gauge whether you want to purchase one of these these uh, detectors or not so let's take a look at this machine and this detector in a trashy area finding trash see what it rings up appreciate you watching okay first target out here in this little squared off area here where i'm at in an old business This target was bouncing around, and uh, that's kind of why. It was going like a 68. Y'all seen it, 71, 75. But it was this right here. So, a little trash, but we're going to keep on at it. Okay. Something kind of small. Bring up 62, 56, 59, 63. I'm gonna say it's probably aluminum or pull tab, something along the line. It's got that. It's almost sound like it's going. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So it's got. So it seems to me like it's got a hole in the middle of it, like a like a pull tab. So, but I can't remember what they ring up. So we're gonna see if it's what it is. It's showing the depth is kind of deep though. So it might be something good. Let's dig it and find out. Okay, well that's what it was. Just some sort of a coupling or something. But uh, let's see what it rings up now. See, it's still jumpy. All right. This one's got me curious. No VDI readout. We're just gonna try it. All right, I'm gonna tell you what I think it is. I think it's something really, really small, really small and shallow. But this, uh, this right here, I'll tell whether it is or not. It may not be. It's a nut. Sure is. It was uh, about three and a half inches down, so. Alright, I got a, I don't know, four inch plug pulled out. Still showing in the hole. Now it's showing me 24 and 26, so let's do it. I was not expecting that. It's like a big old iron coupling. Huge heavy too man well, it was probably full of dirt too but it come out of that hole it rang up like a nickel or a little bit lower than a nickel <laughs> but big iron is going to ring high so iron's supposed to ring low but if it's big iron it's going to read up and it could even sound like a coin so but you got to dig it off you don't, you don't know what it is all right here we go that 31 i pinpoint it It tells me it's pretty shallow, so let's dig it. Yep, it was right underneath the surface. It was a good old bolt, about inch and a half, inch and three quarter long, something like that. All right, I got a jumpy signal here, but just because I want to show you what this machine is doing and how it sounds, I'm going to dig everything. So here we go. Ah! 
showing it from underneath the surface. All right, well, that's what it was. Just a piece of iron, just an iron looking plate type deal. They could have had something written on it one time, but. All right, got another signal here. It's a 22. Can slaw, about an inch down. But, so that's a 22. So I'm gonna put in my memory bank that can slaw is a 22. But, they might be other things that run up as a 22. So I'm gonna still dig them, because I wanna know. All right, I failed to, uh, I failed to give you the video I'll read out and uh, let you listen to this one. Yeah, it came up as a 66, 67, 68. And it says a bottle cap. I'll lay it down to let you hear it though. Hang on a second. Here we go. There you go. Blew my ears out though. It sounded really good. Well, I'm out here next to this parking lot. A bigger chunk of can slaw. Aluminum foil. So, uh, it rings up like a nickel though, but it's not. Alrighty, on to the next. Okay, I told you I wasn't gonna find treasure out here more than likely. I wasn't gonna find much coins. Screaming, 59, 58 signal. And I dug it, and I knew it was about two, three inches. But it's just old can lid. But uh, man, you gotta dig these targets because uh, there's other stuff that rings up that's good there. All right, let's do it. Okay, well this was a, uh, Shooting the 75 signal, I'll let you listen to it. 73 now is what it's showing. It's showing 75 when I was digging it. But it's just aluminum. It's an aluminum, I don't know, a little ring type deal. Not even a washer, but hey, you never know. Could have been a zinc penny. I got a 45 signal up under this bush right here. It's right there. And uh, might be this thing right here. Huh? I'm trying to trying to figure out what that is. I think it's something electrical. I see a wire sticking out the back. Well, I found another one attached to that. Yep, that is a light bulb. <laughs> okay, so now I don't have to know what it was. It's a light bulb. So I guess when they change the light bulbs out, they just throw them on it. All right. Okay, I wanted to dig one for the sake of y'all, so y'all can see it. But it's just a piece of trash. It's one of those little seals they put on like a oil, a bottle of oil when you get oil for the for your car. Anyway, it's just one of those seals that goes on top of a bottle. But I wanted to dig one for you so you can see what it says. So in my opinion, what I would do is I'd probably notch out everything up to about 20. Um, because if I'm not mistaken, a nickel rings up. I might be wrong. A nickel rings up somewhere in the 20s. I could be wrong there. I'll, uh, I'll verify that but, um, if, if I'm wrong I'll put it I'll put it right there on the screen you can see it but I'll let you know when a nickel rings up but yeah I mean I'm, I'm probably going to notch out the teens and the single digits just because I don't want to hear it just skip right over I told you we weren't going to find anything but trash but it's okay the whole idea here is for me to learn this detector and for me to learn what this detector will do uh, with coins, without coins, with trash, with trash with coins, with trash by itself. Thank you for taking the time today to watch this. If this is something you're interested in, if you're interested in the Amphibio, uh, you can go to our links in the description and you can go through there with Kellyco and you can check out and purchase one of those machines. And I'm telling you, you won't go wrong with the Amphibio. It's a very advanced machine, but it seems to be very easy to learn. So with that being said, Hope you have a good day and Happy New Year.